It's a lovely day for the beach, right? No, no sunbathing today? Come on. And I don't know if I have a sticker on my car, so please don't ticket me. So. No, actually, I'm in the town car, so we should be okay. I'm Supervisor Jay Schneiderman. Thank you for coming out on this brisk late October afternoon. Um, it's exciting, though, to be here because this is our uh, groundbreaking, the beginning of this uh, restoration of the Ponquag Beach Pavilion. This is a, uh, it's a major project. Um, this is something that was built, I don't even know how many years ago, I want to say 60 years ago. It's great. It's, it's uh, I think, our flagship beach in the town of Southampton. It's heavily used by residents, uh, and it's a, a beautiful site as you come over the Ponquag Bridge. But it has gotten, uh, it's fallen into disrepair. And uh, we have a project that's going to recite it, redo the, the roofing, we're redoing the uh, cupolas, if that's the right term for the top, we're expanding the deck, we're fixing the parking lot, and there's a lot of components. I'll, I'll save some of that for later, um, but we started out uh, with a desire to try to bring this up to uh, the 21st century to kind of just refurbish it, and uh, we involved the community. And uh, we got a lot of input, a lot of input from people as to what they wanted. Uh, they didn't like all the ideas I had first thrown out, but that's okay. That's what, that's what participatory democracy is all about. It's, at the end of the day, we came up with a beautiful design working with uh, Diverco and Bartolucci Engineering and the town board and the residents and uh, went out to bid. We secured uh, contractors. We put the money in place. Um, I'm joined by Councilman Don, John Bouvier, Councilwoman Julie Lofsted, uh, Councilman Tommy John Schiavone, a number of other people who are here with us today. Marty Shea, our senior environmental analyst. Kyle Collins, our um, planning, uh, land, land planning, land management and development administrator. Land planning, land management and development administrator. I've been working on that. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't. Dave Wilcox, our planning director. Um, Janice Shearer, our deputy planning director. Uh, Mike Benacasa, our uh, chief building inspector. Uh, Maria Hulse is here from the local civic, and Janice Landis and Bonnie Doyle, and lots of other people um, who are joining us. Kristen Dulos in the back, who is our parks director. Um, Brian Borsfeld. Uh, who is our, are you a deputy assistant director? John Irwin, who does our buildings and grounds, um, and a number of other people, uh, Connie Conway from uh, our uh, communications department. So what I'd like to do first is invite our parks director, Kristen Dulos, to come forward, tell us uh, a little bit about who's here from the contractors and engineers and overseer side. Come on, Kristen, and uh, a little more about the project. Kristen Dulos. Hello, uh, thank you so much for being here. This is obviously a really exciting day for us. Uh, this has been in the works for quite a while now. I'd say uh, easily over a year. Um, as the supervisor was saying, it started with a conceptual design phase where we did get the opportunity to do some charrettes with the public. We did an online survey that had um, over a thousand responses. So the community was very, uh, involved with this process which is great this is a beach that i've been coming to personally my whole life so um you know it's a special place and it's really exciting to be a part of this project uh so the contractors uh we have with us today who will be uh seeing this project through we have our general contractor uh construction consultants and um that's paul Moreira and eric bomack and then we have our electrical contractor, New York Trenchless, and we have John Kenny here today. And we have Plumwell, who will be doing the plumbing services. And um, we have uh, Bob Wissing here from their company today. So uh, we've been working with the contractors over the course of the past several weeks. Um, you know, just getting everything ready for, for what we have today, which is the official groundbreaking ceremony. Um, we also have our um, design consultants here from DMB Engineering, and we have Matt Jadleka here from McLean, um, who will be doing inspection services throughout the course of the project. So uh, 
They're going to have a lot of work going on over the course of the next several months. We do ask the public just to um, be mindful of the site. We do have a lot of demolition and, and equipment, so we will be leaving some access on the east end of the property for drive-on, but uh, we know this is a special place for everyone and everybody loves to come here at all times of the year. We do, do just ask, um, you know, try to be patient throughout the process and I think you're, you know, the community is really going to be happy with the final result. So again, thank you to the town board for your support on this project and, and I look forward to uh, seeing it through. Krista, before you go, so just real quick, some of the elements, I mentioned some like mm -hmm. the residing and the re-roofing and the cupolas and the parking. There's also the attendance booth is getting rebuilt, um, uh, the handicapped access. Yes, so uh, we'll be doing some entryway work that will include a new island, a new attendance booth and signage. Uh, there'll be some parking lot improvements, including uh, some rain garden installations, an EV charging station. There's going to be uh, an expansion of the deck to the south. About 30% um, more, more decking. About 30% more decking. Um, there'll be uh, new, new awnings too, coverings or new pergolas. pergolas. Um, there'll be all new EPA decking and railings. Uh, the ramp down to the water is going to be pretty much torn out. Brand new ramp that will be raised. Uh, another shower um, area. Um, some reconfigurations of the restrooms and all new uh, interior finishes. So uh, there's quite quite a lot. It's, Showers, right? Yep. Uh, there's there's going to be um, the new shower facility outside. There's going to be all new um, faucets and and uh, you know the the hand uh, paper dispensers. Anything you could pretty much think of will be uh, renovated. I think we're extending the walkway down a little bit that goes to the beach for handicapped accessibility. Accessibility, right? It's a little bit longer. Um, I. I think it's about the same length, but people don't realize how long it currently is because a lot of it has been buried okay. under the sand that has accumulated a there. Wider, right? Yes. So, um, so there will be more walkway to the folks uh, who have been coming here just because you haven't been able to see <laughs> a lot of it, but it will be raised so um, so that you will have access to the whole uh, stretch of it at the end of the project. Um, and as you said, new siding, roofing the cupolas, um, pretty much anything you could rain, see. Um, a little bit for the for the For parking the parking lot. lot, yes. The rain gardens actually in the northern end in particular signage too, will be really helpful. Uh, yep, new signage at the entrance and um, the parking lot will be um, restriped, look fresh. Uh, oh, a new retaining wall around the whole building. If you've seen any of the renderings, they're gorgeous. Right, so hopefully you've seen some of those those drawings of what it's going to look like. It's going to be really impressive and beautiful. And we're going to try to get it done by Memorial Day weekend, right? Absolutely, That's the goal. yes. All right, so I want to invite up some of my colleagues on the town board. We're fortunate to have almost all of us here today. Uh, Councilman Scalera could not be here, but I'm going to start with uh, Councilman Bouvier to my left and let John say a couple words. Sure. Thank you. Well, we seem to be having a lot of groundbreakings in cold weather, but the sun came out and it's really nice. Um, I, I want to commend our town staff. When we first got into office, Kristen Duos, I, I met and watched her grow into this. And one of the first projects was this project that we talked about. And since then, we've grown a bunch of projects from the Life Saving Station to Tiana Marine Center to a lot of things that we're doing in Hampton Bays, which are really great. But we've got uh, such a tremendous staff. Kristen, uh, there, we're sorry to load you up, but there's more to do. <laughs> but I want to thank you personally for everything. I've seen you come into my office and slump down on occasion when it's gotten to be a burden. And uh, I appreciate your your uh, your work on this, and and you you maintained a really good attitude and positive thinking. So thank you personally. Thank you very much. And I want to thank Hampton Bays, who's always well represented. Uh, this is a part of a wonderful complex. This is I also spend a lot of time at this beach when I was a kid and um, I won't tell you how uh, but it was a it was always a great place to come and I'm looking forward to what we have uh, what we're going to continue to build and grow here so thank you all very much 
All right, Hampton Bay's is very own Councilwoman Julie Lofstad. Thank you. Yeah, I'd like to thank everybody who was involved in this, but especially the people of Hampton Bays. As Kristen had said, we had a lot of public input on this. Um, this building has a special place in a lot of our hearts. I know there were some other alternatives proposed, but the community wanted this, maybe Ponquag 2.0, we can call it. It's going to be similar, but so much better, and um, I can't wait to see it done. So thanks again, everybody, for all of your input and your time on this project. All right. All right, and now I'd like to invite up Councilman Tommy Donskiboni. Thank you, Supervisor. Uh, we're very proud of all the work that, that's getting done here in Hampton Bays. It's an important hamlet to Southampton Town, and as uh, the, my previous colleagues uh, stated, this is one of many projects that we have happening here. Another one is the fishing station. We just acquired that uh, from the county through some state legislation, so we're looking forward to doing some work down there, east and west, and everyone, uh, once this facility is done, please come out here if you do not live in Hampton Bays and take a look at this view. It's absolutely spectacular. I want to uh, congratulate the, the Parks Department for, for keeping this facility in the state that it's in. This is over 50 years old and it's an important facility. You know, Long Island has, we have the best beaches in the world and I am looking out at one of the a world-class beach, so I'm proud to say that Southampton Town's flagship will be a first-class facility giving access to a world-class beach, so thank you. No, it, 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 it is true that, A, this is an incredible beach. Um, in fact, Chris, Kristen and I joke, uh, not so much joke, we talk about how, you know, every year the the rating agency, which is, I guess, Dr. Beach, um, puts puts a Cooper's Beach on the other side of the Shinnecock, uh, Shinnecock Inlet as the, one of the top three beaches in the country. And here we we've been forgotten here. It's the same beach. It's beautiful and with the new uh, with the with the new pavilion. Well, it's I guess the old the refurbished pavilion um, and the expanded decking. We'll have the fishing pier right across the, the old Ponquag Bridge, which is, you know, will be done hopefully by Memorial Day as well. And um, we have plenty of parking here. We'll have the, you know, the concession here. And I, we've been raking the beach, right, Kristen? We bought a, equipment so that we can comb the beach out, get some of the garbage off and some of the seaweed off and groom it. Um, you know, you bring those things together and I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up in the top three beaches in America. It, it deserves to be. It's one of those great places. Um, so, uh, you know, John mentioned some of the things we're doing around here. It's, it's true. There's been a lot going on. The uh, Dune Road, with the help of the highway department, we've addressed a lot of the flooding issues on Dune Road. Uh, it was real evident at this last nor'easter that uh, the road remained passable. Um, the education center, the, uh, at Tiana, the um, Coast Guard, the life-saving station, which I, that's going to open up, what, in Memorial Day, too, or we're hoping as well, Kristen, about? Do we know when that's finished? That's a CPF uh, project. I think, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit past. <laughs> maybe a little. Okay, and, and then. CPF is currently the manager on that, and okay. I think they're moving into But that's moving forward too. Yeah. So check that out. And then at Hot Dog Beach, Hot Dog Beach that the walkway, new walkway, is underway. In fact, almost done. Yeah. Right. So if you're in, you know, if you want to take a ride down, see all the great things that the town is involved in. <laughs> Um, and of course, this is in many ways, it's not a new pavilion, as I said, it's kind of a beautification project where we're cleaning it up. It takes a lot of battering here um, with the constant wind and, you know, the, the salt water. Um, and I, I do want to point out in terms of beautifying the Hampton Bays area that we have Susan Von Freddy has joined us too for Hampton Bays beautification. Um, Susan's group does remarkable work all over the, you know, all the plantings you see and really has been a partner for the town in, in making this area uh, a, a, an amazing place to live. So thank you, Susan, for all of that. And Kyle, you look like you're freezing over there. <laughs> yeah. So I know it's chilly. So I will end. But if, is there anyone, any, we'll take questions or if there's anyone else who has something they want to add from the town's perspective. Uh, Susan. is um, down at the inlet uh, for the county area. Are, are you going to take over? I know you're taking over the... Um, Shinnecock Dock, we're taking over. The dock, but how about at the end of the road? There were discussions about that. Yeah. Um, I, I know that's an area that chronically floods, yeah. and there's also kind of, I think, a wasted area in the center. 
Yeah. Um, that's just, you know, yeah, And I've heard you talk weeds, about it in the past. So I'm right? So we, we could literally probably double the amount of available parking yeah. if, if we could incorporate that into the parking area yeah. and put some drainage structures underneath it. Yeah, um, but I'd like, to raise, to, it I'd like to raise the entire thing up a foot, yeah, too. So, um, but it is, there's a piece that's uh, Southampton Town Trustees, but the bulk of it is uh, County. Suffolk County. Yeah. Um, there was a while the county didn't even know they owned that. Yeah. So, well, we know that because they never cleaned it up. So, it's, <laughs> so I had put in, when I was county legislator, um, I had put in a capital project to, to do exactly that, to, to expand the parking area there. And uh, for weeks, they, they, they were telling me that, oh, we, that's not ours. We don't own that. <laughs> but finally, I had to prove to them that actually the county did own that. Uh, but then they, the money was sat there, and I don't, now it's probably been spent on other projects. So, but uh, I'd be happy to work on that project. There's at least 25 benches that are down there, and people really love to sit there. And they're, you know, we move them away when there's a hurricane or a big right. storm. But... Uh, Julie I mean, did work on the garbage issue with the county yeah, and was yeah, able to get yeah. some garbage containers yeah. down there, which is which is helpful. So, well, anything to make it more beautiful. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, any any other questions about this spot? Yeah, Kristen. I knew you were coming. <laughs> Sorry. But remember, I'm the guy without the coat. So. I just um, I just failed to mention um, a couple of people when I was up here before. I just wanted to thank our contracts department and our land management building department because both um, contracts, uh, we turned this around very quickly. We went out uh, two times to bid and following the second bid, um, things you know got into place very quickly with the help of contracts and also building has been great with helping us through our permitting process. So I just wanted to thank them as well. Christine Fetton, was she involved too? Christine Fetton was involved with the, uh, along the way with uh, the planning and design and, and giving a lot of input and feedback uh, throughout so uh, I apologize Christine I I, I know you're not here today but she's on vacation, but, but not forgotten time. yes right. all right any any other questions all right to everybody involved let's give a nice round of applause yeah. and we'll you know hopefully before Memorial Day we'll have a, a ribbon cutting this is the ground break we'll have the ribbon cutting and we'll have the the new and improved Ponquag Beach Pavilion thank you all for coming yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, ready? Three? Yeah, One, three. two, three. Let's do it again. So, do it again.